quite a lot of bands. Yeah. I mean, that's the whole first band phase. You might as well just let them lock in, uh, let them lock in what? Let them lock in Morgana, let them lock yeah. in Vigar, and let them lock in Jin. Right. Like, yeah. Honestly. We'll see what Drexel does use those bands for. Good knowing... guy Drexel? Good guy Drexel doesn't lock in Viger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That does. It they probably know. will. No, I they will. Like... I, I think, I mean, you just use the resources you're given. If mm -hmm. Virginia Tech was warned, we do, I do want to put that out there, make sure everybody's clear on that. Virginia Tech was warned of this beforehand, so it wasn't like the, the hammer just came and dropped. So they did receive a warning about it. They were told to, to calm down on the mastery flashing, and it didn't stop, so... Um, they will lose their first three bands, which is very unfortunate. Mm -hmm. So I think we will likely see that Vigar slip through, and uh, probably the Morgana. Yeah, I mean Morgana managed to end up in the hands of a Gentech last time, so it doesn't seem like yeah. it's too high on the priority list for Jurassic. That's true. Yeah. <clears throat> Probably the Twitch, actually. Actually, we'll see the Twitch, I think. Uh, has been target banned every time by VT. Uh, I would expect to see those two options picked up for uh, for Drexel. Yeah. So, no bans coming out. What's going to be the first pick, though? Uh, Rise still banned out, of course. Mm -hmm. um, what's Drexel um, going to first pick here? Are they, you know, I don't think they're going to first pick the Vagar. No, uh, I yeah. Think, I think they'll first rotation the Vigar. Yeah, they, they definitely need the first rotation. And they, I, I uh, think if they let it go through, that's definitely what they're going to be looking to, to ban out in the second phase. I think they just put uh, a focus on a Twitch pick, probably. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Riven still left up, by the way. That's true. Could it is. see Yade's Riven come through once again. Uh, the one thing they could do to stop that is, I think, pick Maokai here in this first phase. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Um. So that's possibly two things that they would need to pick in the first phase is Vigar and Maokai if they want those two things to come yeah. out. You don't need to first yeah. pick that. It's not going to get taken away. <laughs> okay. I guess Active could have taken it for support, but the Swag doesn't play that. I don't know. I think I think they want to. Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah. I would have. They they didn't want it to get picked away, which was a a possibility. Yeah. Zach does go through. Um. Yeah, Olaf, I don't think it's, it's too much of a big deal. Olaf actually. is a good option into Vagar as well, but it decides mm -hmm. to go with the Zac instead. Olaf can, of course, just run through the Event Horizon um, and beat Vagar yeah. up before he can do anything. Okay. I would expect to maybe see like a like a Braum Twitch pick here. I think mm -hmm. it would be quite strong. Oh, don't forget they also need to... Figure out something for the uh, the ribbon, so a map <clears throat> might come in too. Mm, yeah, true. So I'm expecting some combination Actually, of. No, it looks like you're just going for a Kali coin pick in the top lane. Man, this is where they mix it up to, yeah. uh, despite against oh, all odds. Okay. Oh, oh no. Lee all right. Oh no. A good early game oh, no. number. Oh no. Zach, uh, yeah. Could have some trouble against that. Okay. Okay, we do see the Morgana come okay, out. Okay, so they don't really care about the twist then. Yeah, Morgana. Oh, no. Morgana is going to help a ton against that Zach. Interesting that they uh, they they let the Twitch go through. I guess they really aren't that bothered by the fact that uh, VT has been continuously banning it. They do let it go through regardless of it not being banned. Yeah. Opting to get their uh, get their jungle locked in. Vladimir is the pick for the swag in the mid lane. Some heavy AP damage. Potentially going to see a good uh, Jin come out in the bot lane. That okay, hold on a little. Okay, okay all right, no. all right. Akali is Akali. Okay. Everything. I was worried that uh, everything's fine. They're gonna yeah. play Akali. They they were possibly gonna use that as a filler. A little bit of confusion going on about the rules, but they it looks like they are gonna play Akali. <laughs> Hopefully, they get their ban in. They ban something. Okay, okay. they ban they ban the Cho'Gath. <laughs> Fiesta Fiesta game four champ select. Everything's fine though. It looks like everything's worked out. Uh, God Gavin turns out doesn't have doesn't have some champions. Okay. <laughs> okay. Like I, I think that Kali has potential. I mean, there's a reason like the best player in North America is uh you know eighty percent win rate of Kali exclusive almost player. So yeah. Uh, I no. think it is. <laughs> and another chain of unfortunate events. VT now uh, reveals that Kali is their top laner. So uh -huh. now they don't have to worry about the ribbon on the side. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, this is a super unfortunate draft for BT. They basically reveal every card that they have to play. They, they just dropped all the cards on the table. They don't get any bands. If they win anyway, they're actually gods. Yeah. Uh, the Jin ban does come through, and the Karma ban. So, uh... What is the bot lane gonna be? Wise decisions. Um, it's gonna be some new okay. picks in the bot lane for Virginia Tech. Nothing they've played so far is available. But the Morgana exists already. Yeah. Um, you can do Zaya with something else like Braum. Yeah, Zaya with something else. Yeah, Braum. Yeah, Braum is still open. Braum's. Really, I think has potential to be good into Vigar too. If you like block the, you can block mm, the yeah. ultimate with the block the big blast with your shield, which is like real good value. But you sort of have to get a little bit lucky with that. Yeah. Israel. Covering the Ezreal, we have not seen this champion uh, in this uh, in this series so far. Sivir. Actually, switch to the Sivir. If you don't Kaisa. have, and he does, he does go to Kaisa at the last second. So, uh, looking very reminiscent of Game One comp for Drexel mm -hmm. here, hoping to replicate the the magic that happened in Game One. That insane, uh, what was that, fifty two minute game? Something like that. Yeah. Mm, Malkai's the hover. I'm pretty sure that does not beat Akali. Yeah, it's like, oh, that's good picking Riven, and then <laughs> where's Riven? <laughs> maybe they maybe they aren't reading chat like uh, like good sports. Uh -huh. <laughs> Although with the Vladimir Akali pick, like you know, yeah. not gonna be... yeah. <laughs> you know they need a support. So just feeling the Maokai. Okay? I, I like it. I like it. Yeah, I don't think it's bad. The Shanna Hopper. Huh. I would. I, mean, I, guess I would like to see Braum here instead. Sin... I don't know about this Janna pick. I mean, uh, go for yeah. Zaya Rakan. Kind of hard yeah. in Morgana, but not, it's not terrible. Yeah, not great in Morgana, but yeah, I dig it. You can still do work. Yeah, they they just build up a good uh, AOE comp here with uh, Zach and Rakan in a shade into Vlad damage. Um, so I think Huang Fu locked in Lee Sin because he just wants to pop off as much as he can because it's his like best champion or something. So, you just do that instead. Yeah. Well, okay. Uh, I'm trying to watch my mouth over here. Uh, mm -hmm. Not comment on the current situation. Uh, everything's fine. Many discussions are being had about mastery. Behind the scenes discussions about uh, yeah about about mastery flashing and uh, what's considered BM and what's not. But hopefully, in this game, we just see some nice, clean, uh, static gameplay with no emotion at all. Mm -hmm. That's what's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we'll see if uh, the Vagar was the key to the first game win or if it's something else. Uh, it could be the Kaisa, you never know. Um, see Don't if play. Drexel can pull it back, finish, tie up the series, play the Silver Scrapes, or is it gonna <laughs> be a Virginia Tech in four games? Hit him with the 3 1, just like every single LCK uh, series has gone so far. <laughs> yeah. The 3 1 classic. Three -one. Yep. I, I, yeah, the, I think Virginia Tech's in the hole in this one, but I think they could still do it. Yeah, no, it's, it's kind of rough to play without your first three bands and to play with maybe a kind of not necessarily intentional Akali. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but you never know. Chase is good, or sorry, Yade is good at Akali. Uh, Malkai does not have the best matchup into it, I don't think. Um, the big thing here will be how much that Morgana helps prevent the Zack engages if the Akali can get shut down. Um, let's see if Vladimir just rolls through the team fights or not. Yeah. Um, let's see. Um, I think the Vigar is still really good here, actually, because um, it, it can stop the Rakan and Zack engage as it like is in progress. He can stop the elastic slingshot um, and uh, the the battle dance. So. Um, I think it still has a lot of value here in this game, and I can blow up. Um, it'll ha it'll be harder to blow up Zaya and Nikali, but I think they can still pull it off. And now the real, real, real yeah, the real test is going to be can Yade, Yade, Yade or Yade? <laughs> it's Yade. We've the, it's Yade or Yade. Let's decree this right now. No, okay. I know. I've been calling him Yade every time. Yeah. Can he make the Akali work? Probably. I'm ready for the. Don't flash the mastery. Flash mm -hmm. Mapingu. Mapingu. It's not mastery. They didn't specify. 
<laughs> it's an ebook, guys. It's a different thing. Yeah, it's not Mastery. It specifically said Mastery. Uh, okay, we're gonna stop talking about the Mastery mm-hmm. thing yeah. because I think it's gonna become a point of contention between uh, some of the officers and myself. Um, Forty seconds left on the timer. Uh, Drexel, Drexel, hoping that this event horizon can happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, never know. Could be the comeback. Could be the champion they are looking for. Nice turn of events for Drexel for sure. To have not three other main champions not banned. Um, that said, didn't take advantage of the Twitch being unbanned. Yeah, I think that Wangfu shouldn't have locked in Lee Sin there. And probably yeah, just it, hold on. Really interesting that they let that Twitch go through. I, even though it's been target banned from them every time, I, I don't know. There's so many options if you don't lock in the Lee Sin too, because there's yeah. just you just had all those bands that couldn't be junglers. Yeah, and... I feel like this comp works maybe even better with Twitch instead of Kaisa. So mm-hmm. we'll see. It. We'll have to see how it goes. Drexel might yeah. regret the decision not to take the Twitch. We will see. Got into loading screen now. Everybody's diamond, but Gavin feels bad for Gavin. Sorry, Gavin. Feels bad, man. Okay. Well, he's diamond now. He just wasn't diamond on this account at the end of last season. He wasn't so what you're telling me account. is he's boosted. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Wait, isn't he like the opposite of boosted? Yeah, professional player, by the way. Yeah, Ryan, <laughs> we were kidding. Okay, we weren't actually serious. I know, I know Ryan. I was, ki- I was kidding, Ryan. I'm going to stop harping on it now. Uh, <clears throat> all right, we're hopping on in. Everybody's here. No skin on Vladimir. Guess what? You're benched. Why, why don't you have a skin? You're not faker. Skins. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see what happens this time. It's like where everybody's grouped up. Drexel's going to look for something. And Virginia Tech hasn't this looked is... for any like, invades or anything. Really. They have more gone up. Oh, Gavin still has a move. Does spotted out by Gavin. He's got the moves, the home start. Uh, so, runs pretty fast. Managed to avoid that gank because he never got into river. <laughs> Oh gosh! Who oh, boy? Somebody, somebody is gonna get somebody's gonna get slapped on the wrist after this game. People oh, yeah. flashing masteries anyway. Oh boy! Uh, oh, we've reached a, a a brand new world of oh the GLHF comes out all oh, fun dude. and games though. Yeah, Yade, actually the nicest guy here. <laughs> oh, no, I know God. that was that was Huang Fu. Yeah. You too, by the way. Uh, <laughs> All right, so we see the, the Dark Seal in the hands of Akali on the top lane. Yade is, Yade is ready to pop off. He's ready. Get the max stacks in the Dark Seal transition. Make Kai'Sa's day terrible. All right. Well, Yade, Yade trying to get some information mid, mid-game. mid Wondering if the... Uh, I want to say no. I, I have no idea. If I'm being perfectly honest, if uh, Lee Sin's my, E reveals guess. Akali in stealth still. I feel like that was changed. I think it does. You think it does? Okay. Yeah. I know, I definitely know it used to, but for some reason I feel like it doesn't anymore, but I, I honestly don't know. Yeah. I guess we'll find out in this game at some point. There's a difference between Invisibility and camouflage. Was the Akali already locked in when they picked the Lee Sin? Is that no? Lee Sin well, was well, uh, okay. Second pick. Akali was. Uh, it okay. just got picked first. Akali was. Oh, here we go. Four. They were kind of level one. <laughs> uh, slow start to the learning phase. Kaisa small CS of. Oh, Waku's going in super deep. Goodness gracious! Goes on to God Gavin on the red buff. Gavin's just like, yeah, dude. Uh, yeah, he actually doesn't care at all, but now Mage is coming up, but the swag is here. Then Horizon does stand, uh, does stun Gavin, but Yade's here. Oh. Wang Fu's got to be flashing away. Yade, unfortunately, is not level 6, as we can clearly see, so we can't dash onto him. Oh, flash from swag! Gets oh, kill. no, he's actually insane! Just waiting for that moment. Oh, my God, I, I didn't think he'd have the damage. Wow, he's actually a mastermind. Yeah, waited for that like, power Q. Oh, yeah, boy. comes in for the swag, cleans it up, gets that first blood. And on Gavin, that's, that's like... another thing we talk about the, the, this uh, Vladimir on the swag. 
It didn't work out for Mage, but oh, actually, active nihilism flashes back there. Not sure if that was necessary. Did he flash a binding? Maybe. I actually forget. I, yeah, I, I was looking <laughs> down at the score screen momentarily. Yeah. No, I think uh, Virginia Tech was actually prepared for that in Lee Cinder invade, because uh, Yade got there so fast once it happened. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they, they, they answered it quite quickly. So, good play there by Virginia Tech. Yeah, and really it's interesting that Huang Fu opts to go for that, because even if he does get Gavin low, all you're doing is going to pop his passive. There's absolutely no way he, he kills him there. And, I, I don't know, it, Yeah. Not, not the greatest of decisions there. Thinks it's solo queue and that nobody's paying attention to their jungler. Yeah. But no, Virginia Tech, I think uh, the second they knew Lee Sun was getting locked against the Zac, they were like, okay, he's going to go aggro yep. early. Let's get ready, guys. It appears that they do have microphones. <laughs> they do indeed have microphones. Hmm. Anyways. Oh, bone plating its procs from the Morgana. I actually didn't know Morgana went bone plating. So that's neat. Yade getting ganked here. He has flash available, but uh. <clears throat> yeah, that's that's enough. Pompu is just gonna back up. I'm Oz taking a little bit of poke. Actually, the binding lands back on the Revelator. He's gonna take a little bit of damage. Pretty, pretty even trade all around. Yeah, it's not Caitlyn. You don't have to worry about the binding getting right. chained right. into so much damage. It's just a little bit of case of damage spread out with a few minions taking some rockets too. So not too. You weird. do lock him down for the W, which is actually a surprising amount of damage early, and, and it applies to passive stacks. But yeah. yeah, still, still nothing like a headshot from a Caitlyn trap. Yeah, Kaisa's uh, W starts. Scaling up pretty hard later on. Uh, it's not mm -hmm. the most damage early, maybe a hundred. And we can't even be sure it was off cooldown. It's got a pretty long cooldown early on, something like twenty yeah. seconds. So. Yeah, it's it's. I think I think it's I think it's seven or like seventeen or eighteen. Twenty-two. Is it really? Okay. Yeah. It's okay. Long. So, uh, purely for uh, the. Yeah, the gain of knowledge. I've figured out that. Oh, Zaxi on the mid lane. Getting a pull back okay. now, Ignite on. Oh, he does have a minion attack, he's gonna pull him back. And Mage falls. Yeah, I don't even think God Gavin needed to flash there. Uh, just does it to be safe. Make sure heal doesn't come out or anything. Mm -hmm. So, Lee Sin's E will not reveal Akali, I don't think. Will not. But your, his yeah. Q will. Yeah, I okay. just got through it. Yeah. And it looks like they removed that at some point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when they changed uh, vision at the beginning of the season or last season. Yeah, okay, uh, yeah, you're right. When they changed vision, they made it so that a lot of the things that yeah. were unnecessarily giving vision didn't give vision anymore. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Alright, looks like uh, Kali's actually down a little bit of CS right now against this Maokai. But I think as the further into this game we get, the more Kali's going to be capable of doing a bit more. Akali definitely not a champion known for pre-6 power. Yo, definitely not. No. Ooh, just barely gets away with the back. No, Would you I, see that first Drake being an Infernal? Akali's sort of like a strange champion. It's like, some, some's like, in the, the similar to Diana, where like, you don't think that, like, this champion doesn't do that much damage, and it's, you just reach a point in the game where suddenly there's just a lot of damage coming yeah, out of nowhere. Seconds. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Uh, Call you bought the haunting guys, swapped it to revolver. He did, I saw that. <laughs> yeah. He bought it, thought about it for a second, changed his mind. I'm pretty sure you just never go haunting guys over revolver right now, but yeah, uh, yeah I don't think so. Uh, interesting decision. Maybe he thought yeah, he was cannon like... or something, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Or Rumble. Gavin's here in the bottom lane. Going get back. Look at the reason they have. They do have a ward there, so they they know exactly where the bot lane yeah. of Drexel is. That is a infernal dragon, first dragon. So we're going to see some early game pressure for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Always a very important dragon to take more damage. Always good. Especially against with like you know Vladimir and Akali, both mm -hmm. love yeah. infernal dragon. Oh yeah. Get. Especially, I mean, Kali gets like basically double bonuses off that, so oh, yeah. it'd be it'd be really nice if if ET could take it down, or if for Drexel did not yet. Yep. 
Aside from a couple of little scraps in the mid lane, a pretty slow game compared to some of the earlier matches. Yeah, Machine Tech still has two kills early um, in mm -hmm. the mid and jungle, but nothing too big yet. Pretty quiet overall. Oh, actually, yeah. here comes Gavin again. Flash still Ooh, down. Yeah, yeah. No heal this time. <clears throat> he does have the kidnap ability. He's going to kidnap him back, and Mage falls down. I didn't even realize you're unstoppable during kidnap, so you can actually yeah, get yeah. through that Vega wall. Um, Going right through that event horizon. Yeah. <clears throat> Something we had not even considered, but unfortunately for everybody else, Gavin. Yeah. Excellent pathing from On Gavin it. there. He comes around the back of where, you know. You yeah. expect him to gank, and that's just something that only a few champions can really pull off. Yeah, exactly really taking advantage of the elastic slingshot. Oh, actually, though, Dark Binding comes no, in. Dark Binding oh, lands on the active Nihilus. And Ooh, Chow follows him up with a knockup. <clears throat> Imaj yeah. goes oh, super deep, finishes him off with the uh, the passive proc. He does get rooted back. A teleport's coming in now from uh, Yane. He is set, so he's going. He's going to go deep. You know Yane. Oh, Whoa. never Ooh. mind. Get out of here. Gets kicked, but guess what? He has a million jumps. We'll take it. It's kind of bad, actually. Teleport in for that. Teleport yeah. in and gets uh, kicked in the face. Yeah, teleports in, gets kicked in the face, completely denied. Really, they would ideally just oh. kind of like to get this dragon so they do have something. Chow actually walks up to the bush and takes quite a bit of damage. He's got the dark shield, gonna go negate it. a little oh. bit. Oh. The dark shield yeah, does scare Yada away. Wanfu is here by the dragon now. Spots it out. God Gavin has started it. Mage's here as well, but Yare looking for blood, and Vladimir's going for the epic flank. Actually, Drexel has no idea. Yare gets actually event oh, rising the new kids completely. Just kidding, it's fine. Oh, that feels bad. Yeah, Yare. And Yare just completely shuts down this play. Uh, Drexel probably going to take this Drake. VT forced to back up. Uh, Vladimir is still around. They are quite grouped for a nice Vladimir LT if they do off to stay, but... The 4v5, they're not really feeling it reset. well. It reset and heals a little bit, so oh Drexel. Uh oh. And uh, the swag is opting to pull the trigger. Oh, nice event horizon. Blue team does secure it. That is uh, Drexel. The big kidnap comes in onto a huge recon knockup. It's going to end up killing off Wong Fu. The swag is going to just barely not get away at all. And uh, so a one for one trade after Yachty dies, but the dragon does go to Drexel. Yeah. Oh, I'd take that trade. Yeah, I think yeah. that's worth it. Basically, it all yeah, based off of how Yade played that. Um, yeah. Definitely mm -hmm. a yeah. little aggressive there. Yeah, not, like looking not for respect. something here. Big, Drexel big also looking for something here. Flash is actually out of the box. The knockup does land on a Mage. Mage is quite low. He doesn't quite have his ultimate yet. And uh, the passive does get popped for Gavin. He is going to be relatively safe, though. Down the Flash, not able to oh. finish him off. But he does wait for. Mage waits for the. Little blobs to stack up and nukes him with his W. Yachty is quite low. Actually, could be falling. This could be absolutely disastrous for uh, for VT here, and it is. Yeah, Virginia Tech loses another fight right afterwards. Three down once again. Only gets the Vega in return. Boy, I don't think that was the right place to try to go for a dive there. Uh... No, everybody's still present for uh, for Drexel yeah. after the dragon. So. Vladimir's dead or back in base. I don't think Zai had a good opportunity to get into a uh, fighting position there, and Bristol just yeah. Now they have, they have a huge team. wave down here. Probably gonna look this tower. Actually, yeah. they do have to back off with Vladimir roaming down. Yeah, Vladimir could have gotten two kills there by himself against the Morgana and Kaisa. Mm -hmm. He's in a pretty good spot here, uh, item wise. Finished up his Yeah, did opt to grab that Proto Bell. Mm -hmm. yeah. But that all that fighting puts uh, Magai back on the map, really. Mm -hmm. uh, he was what down 0-2. That's not, like I think now he's back up to three and three. So uh, things are looking good for him, and maybe he can take that Vigar advantage and push into uh, the late game power spike. Yeah, and if we remember the, this part uh, back in game one, at this point, VT uh, actually was ahead a good bit, and now with Drexel being even with relatively similar comp. Uh, could be a rough time for VT if they want to pull this one. Yeah, uh, it's definitely going to be a bit harder. The big thing, difference between game one and this game, uh, as far as the Vagar goes, is Virginia Tech has a much better split push uh, threat. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So you can't just have like everything that your five stack wants to do shut down by one event horizon. Um, your four stack can now threaten something while Akali's threatening something else in the side lane. Uh, another fight or gank here on Mage. 
really looking to try and shut down Mage, and it looks like they will get the kill. So they're really trying to put a lot of pressure Damn. and let Mage not get the ball rolling. Trying to deny some of that, some of that farm, some of those stacks. Yeah. Exactly. Really trying to make sure. Zach can stack. get out of Event Horizon with uh, the Let's Bounce is like making that dive so so. Uh, easy. Uh, Gavin, Gavin does took a little bit far. He's actually he doesn't have his passive, so he's just kind of end up dying. The kick secures it with the tower shot. Yeah, he's taking quite a bit of damage here from down to flash. It'd be a little bit spooky if one two ops to come up. He's just gonna soak up that mid wave though. Koi will slowly heal up. He does have a pretty good sustain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she does have quite good sustain, and uh, down to flash does off the back. Once Koi <clears throat> finishes up that gun blade, it's going to be even another level of sustain. Yeah. Um, so. Waiting on that for his big power spike top lane. He's almost got that. I think he gets it in one more CS, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Too okay. far away. Especially after this wave, so. That's that's the that's the one item power spike for Akali. I mean, Akali just like sort of keeps on from there. Uh, tries to go in there, but the black shield plus the bind. Yeah, Morgana just completely denies that engage, and the ult's gonna land on the nihilism. He's gonna fall, and now <clears throat> I'm or, uh, excuse me, Revelator. Just gets cleaned up as well, so two kills again down in the bot lane, and it looks like they're going to try and secure this tower. Dragon not up for two minutes, so they won't be able to get that as well, but <clears throat> securing that tower early is good, and, and Kai'Sa getting a lot of early game uh, pressure here. 3-0 and 4 on Kai'Sa. Yeah. It gets very scary very fast. We mentioned champions like that, like uh, Rakan, Zyra Khan's like... Not a fun time in a Morgana, but it's going especially bad uh, here in this case. I mean, they're what combined one, four, and two here. So mm -hmm. um, I think yeah. that they're, they're out. it's not going to get better for him either. I think we're kind of going to have a bad time trying to skirmish into a black shield. So yeah, this is a definitely situation where um, it was pretty bad for Virginia Tech. This is the first time they've watched bot lane this hard. So mm -hmm. yeah, not something they're exactly used to at this point. Got it. He's going to fight this Maokai up here. Yeah, he does have that sustain now. He's got that Gunblade, so he's going to heal up quite a lot. He probably wins this fight. Down to Flash going to back yes. up. Actually, just kidding. If I'm is there, he does not win. He's going to get the... Oh, it barely doesn't Ooh, finish him, but he does Flash and should get a kill. Yeah. And Tower is uh, already chunked a good bit, so they could look to secure it. I don't think uh, Yadi's having a fun time on Akali <laughs> too much either. Yeah. Well, I, he probably just is having enough experience on the champion and just decided to lock it in. No, 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 no. He, he knows how to play Akali. He plays yeah. a lot of Akali in Challenger. Okay. Yeah, or in Masters. But, um, definitely one of the, like, the top 10-ish Akalis in NA. Alright, I stand correct. Then. And, you know, there's obviously like TF Blade and a nice legend come yeah, up above him, yeah. but uh, after that, he's, he's up there. He's be back in from behind, though, it's like... The second Drake is going to be another Infernal, so obviously everybody looking for that. I'm Oz actually caught out quite a bit. Yada's going to go ahead and clean that up, so a nice start to this fight for Drexel, or uh, VT, excuse me. Mage's also going to get caught out, so the two carries for Drexel are going to fall, and unfortunately that's going to lead to what I would expect to be a Infernal Drake yeah, for VT. Pull this out, dude. Oh. That's what we send. You pull it out. <laughs> yeah. Alright. That is trolling. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, they pull it out. Looks like they're gonna secure this. And uh, a nice little swing there for Drexel. Only 800 gold down now. Yeah, Virginia Tech mentioned their. Virginia Tech, excuse me. <laughs> Post it going back there. Um, it's not as dire as it seems about t uh, three minutes ago. So. Yeah. That's good. Actually, go for a dive on a Huangfu too. They can do yeah, it. Yeah, Huangfu is kind of here on his tower. This teleport's gonna have to be canceled, I would imagine. He does end up finishing it. I, this is pretty dangerous. If Gavin just well, yeah, his his team is here to back him up. Nihilism actually gets a little Ooh, bit overzealous when he's gone. Takes the death for it. And now big scary Aj is back. He's got his ult. Yeah, he's gonna go in onto Yadis. So Yadis up a little bit far, and Aj has got that damage. Wow. They weren't guess, expecting this because for the last two games the he hasn't he hasn't done it. But that time he does. Yeah. Every time he's died, he's died to the uh, the Kaisa, I think. So. Did it once uh, without the Kaisa there, but yeah. yeah, um, yeah. Kaisa definitely the richest player in this game by about 18 gold. Um, but you know that's that's a number that matters. Uh, actually, definitely a number. Yeah, swag swag actually got up slightly above him just now, but he's he's pretty rich, got a lot of gold, um, and he can do the damage, especially when people ignore him or he's chasing yeah. people down. 
We're seeing right now that Vladimir's not having as great a time against the Maokai in top lane as Akali was having. Yeah. Uh, too much of a health pool, Maokai, or Vladimir doesn't have the uh, damage output and cooldowns to yeah. make it dent in. <laughs> So, who's gonna get the blue buff over? Well, you better get the blue oh buff over. Gosh. Dude, he takes blue on Lee Sin, dude. Every Lee Sin dude, in my game. Energy regen is so no. such a big deal. Oh, wait, it so doesn't good. do that anymore, does it? No. <laughs> it does it? I forget. Uh, no, no, no. It's I'm not a big deal on Lee Sin, I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not like there's no, that. It yeah. greatly increases mana and energy regen. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter at least because Lee Sin's passive yeah. exists, but. No, it's a, it w could be a big deal on a Kali, especially if she's going against yeah. Malachi and Elaine, uh, extended skirmish, but... Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, no, Lee Sims doesn't need it very much. He just wants to wear CDR so he can, uh, do more damage with his abilities. Oh, yeah. Needs more CDR. No, when I first started playing the game, I, I mained Vladimir. And I mm. was take blue every time because I really needed that ten percent CDR. It was so important. Yeah, yeah. That was back before every item in the game gave CDR though. Yeah. So. Oh. <laughs> now weird. we have masteries in the game so that if you over cap on CDR, you know, just in case you get more damage. Damn. Oh, Kaisa's going to engage on. Gavin's going in. Kaisa's kind of up by herself, but uh, he's just almost away enough. But the the Rakan engage just coming. He gets chunked mm. out pretty well, but. Everybody kind of scared away by Hong Fu. Yeah, and Wong Fu shows up, throws a single Q at him, and they all run away. Yeah, that was a Give bit of a miscommunication. Looks like Zack went to try to get the knockback with his stretching yeah. strikes, and um, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. ran, it, ran out of range. The swag pulled out, but then Agden now goes in with his ultimate. Gets it, hits it, but now nobody's in range to follow yeah. up. Nobody can follow up, right? Feels a little bad, but you know, good try. Mage's kind oh, look of at this, look at this. Okay. Lane with this collapse Complete in. unrelated note, but dude, can I give a shout out to Chow for holding the wave dude for his ADC? That's what real supports do. Mm -hmm. sure. yeah. God right. bless. VT putting a lot of pressure on this top side right here. Lots of vision control around Baron. Oh, Funko goes in on active. Wow, the there goes Ooh. after these Oh, nice Oh, kick. really good kick, but he's gonna go back through the event horizon. He's gonna feather fly, run away. Actually, he's just gone. Yeah, Vaker does damage right now. He's he's actually just he still does damage. Oh, here we go. Let's see if not can find Contrary to popular belief. Oh, a big flash hit and comes in and knocks uh, Vladimir back uh -oh. in, but a big uh, engage here from God Gavin. Yadi is there to do a little bit of damage on Amage, but they can't quite finish somebody off now. Uh, Yadi is forced to uh, hourglass. He does actually flash the Q from Mage. Insane play from Yadi actually kills Mage. Active nihilism goes in a little bit overzealous. He's gonna end up falling. Zach is landing the stretching strikes. The swag does fall on the backline. Yadi's going back in. He's still alive. He's got a lot of health. This could be where Yadi ends up cleaning up the fight. Just kidding. He's dead to Huang Fu. And now Gavin's going to run uh -oh. for his life. But Huang Fu is Lee Sin. Nice flash, by the way. You're dead. Wow. Crazy fight. Yeah. Uh, Trap comes they... out just ahead, but. Uh... Really? This is I died at the beginning, but. Yeah, so it's three for five. Um, but not going to be able to get any objectives off of that. Mm -hmm. It's just kills. So yeah. not a huge gold lead gonna come out, although Rev's in a bit of a dangerous position against Wong uh -oh. Fu here. Oh, Revelator, what are you doing? Oh, it's Lee Sin! He actually does a million damage! Yeah, it's, it's full damage, Lee Sin. He's insane! Oh, we're spamming missing things now, too. Is he being spam? Sorry, it's BM? Yep, that's BM. Guys, don't do that. Um... <clears throat> But yeah, I, I, I do want to just, just comment once more on that insane uh, flash from Yare. He flashed over Mage's Q when he was at under 100 HP and ends up life stealing from the damage he does to Mage and kills him mm. and lives. Then, Almost saving the team fight for VT, but just not quite able to, mm. to finish off the last two members. Uh -oh. And uh, Active uh -oh. Nihilism is going to be dead once again. Oof. Yeah, Face checking nice. against, uh, is, against the Vigar is just not. Vigar really bad. I think he reacted almost as soon as the Event Horizon came down, still got stunned by it. Yeah, yeah um, and he cleansed and gets hit by a bind. Then. Oh, did he burn cleanse? Yeah. I didn't notice. Oh my gosh, yeah. So, actually even more of a disaster than I even originally Ooh, That's going to open a window for a second Infernal, or well, it's the third Infernal Drake of the game, but hopefully Drex will pick up his fair second. Yade gonna be fighting down to flash up here. Down to flash, not really caring anymore about what Yade can do. Spear Visage. Yeah, Yade's gonna just kinda get a little bit choked out. Just gonna, gonna dip Ooh. and dodge around. 
his team is coming to support him, so this could be uh, down to Flash getting a little bit too high. I would imagine he'll probably he's get out fine. You can't really dive the Maokai. He barely takes damage. Yeah. He's a bit and of a tanky the, boy. Now the now yeah. uh, and Wang Fu are here to back him up. Christ, are gonna go ahead and snag the red buff. Uh, does on the way ping to Revelator. If Revelator gets hit by a stack, it could be getting engaged on, but now the support is here. But Mage's here, and guess what? His ultimate's off cooldown, so they're hiding in the bush. Looking to drop that event horizon and get a pick. Down to Flash, goes in in the top lane onto Yade. Uh. Gavin is relatively close, but uh, same can be said for Chow. And, uh, and, and everybody. More everybody. importantly, Imaj and Mage also in the area. And they do get the turret for that, the second turret for Drexel. Alright. He's gonna head back down to catch the mid wave with and Hong Fu's gonna stick around top side. Maybe wait for Yadi to walk up and try something. But it's like that, that's everything. Yeah, everybody's just gonna kinda reset, go back, spend their gold. <clears throat> kinda play keep keep playing around uh keep playing around Baron. Mage is actually going to come up and look to steal this blue buff away from uh, God Gavin. God Gavin's going to go ahead and smite it. And now, uh... this is actually kind of funny. So, Virginia Tech's only targets for blue buff are Rakan and Zaya. Everybody else doesn't use mana. Yeah. Um, Akali, like I said, could potentially use it pretty well, but that's you know, no mana on that right. champion. It's kind of strange. Oh, here we see a TP coming in. Oh, there's a TP flame coming in here from the oh. swag, but he's actually just probably going to get blown up. Oh, no, oh no. a good engage here from Active Nihilism. This could be huge AoE if they can land some combos. Chow does fall, but it's not exactly the greatest target. The kidnap doesn't land on anybody, and the swag is getting chased down here in the back lane. I'm Osh kind of left by himself, but he actually gets a kill for his trouble. On to Active Nihilism. Huang Fu going to try and escape here. We'll probably just get jumped on by Zach and killed. Yeah, and that's a yeah. win for Virginia Tech. Only active goes yeah. down. Yeah, it looked like a really bad TP, but uh, turned up fine. Yeah, yeah. he lived. <laughs> yeah, well, he did get he away. Managed to kite it out until his uh, ultimate managed to heal him, uh, and that gave him the advantage against the Lee Sin that was chasing him down. Yeah, he and did. now the the jungler is dead for for Drexel. So VT's gonna look for this Baron. Down to Flash is here to try and stall it out. He's gonna drop the ult. Gonna go ahead and go in onto the Zaya. Uh, Maga's gonna blow up Yade. It's actually gonna delay the Baron. The TP's coming in from the. Uh, uh, excuse me. Active Nihilism is a TP, actually. Oh, it was Active Nihilism with a TP. My brain doesn't oh my work. God. But with Until oh, Dome, and it's actually a disaster for VT. People just falling left and right. The swag is here now. It's super extended fight. Probably gonna end up finishing off down to Flash. Just kidding. The swag can't really put out the damage. Act. Mage oh, gonna drop the event oh, from Oh my god. He's just not respecting. The damage from Mane, oh, he's gonna try and get the kill, but he's, he's not gonna get it. it! It's actually a disaster. Jesus. Yeah, okay. those early game team or uh, Baron calls when you don't have five people there and there's people that can fight against you, it's just so bad. Uh, especially with oh, the magic we just shred and the just pure damage that Baron yeah. can put out in AoE. Uh, we saw Revel Auto take a lot of damage from Baron. Mm -hmm. Go down, um Kali takes some of the damage, Vagar just burns people when they don't have magic resist, so Doing some pretty nice Ow. damage there. That hurt a lot. <clears throat> yeah, so, really, really big swing in the favor of Drexel here. Yeah, that was a five k gold swing. Yeah. yeah, puts him up six k now. So we're gonna see, hopefully, see what Drexel can pull out uh, in advantage here and, and push towards victory. <clears throat> yeah, looking to open up that game five. Yadi actually dodges the Dark Binding by going forward there. Looks <laughs> <laughs> like Gavin's possibly looking for a play. He will just actually go back to safety. <clears throat> okay. Yadi's gonna go clear bot wave. Um, and yeah, they're just gonna try to generate pressure mid here. Um, where is... Where's my my guys is this team right now? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. They don't they don't need to be super <laughs> pushing. Yeah. Right now. I can use Baron to go ahead and knock down this uh, inner yeah. tower. Fire Siege Pinchel is really good uh, with the event horizon, so wave clear's a little team. bad for BT. Yeah. So they they shouldn't have too much trouble getting this, this turret here. 
Oh my gosh. Dark binding. Okay. Morgana and Vigar is like together is pretty insane. Yeah. So. For sure. <clears throat> There's really just not a lot of wave clear on the side of VT either. Really, all they have is like. Now he's going to engage. Oh, the engage is going to come in as the as the tower does fall. Huge mixed up fight here. I'm going to pump out a bunch of damage. Unfortunately, Yade not really able to make anything happen. Doesn't get caught on the event horizon. Just going to get kicked. Mighty's going to finish him off. Gavin's going to jump in. Actually, gets a really good kidnap, but they don't really have anybody alive to finish people off. I'm Maj does fall, but triple kill for Mage, and that's, that's going to send us into game five. That's, yeah, it's going to be game five. Pretty big deal here. Okay. Drexel managing to turn it around. Uh, had a little bit of help from the tournament admins, but not their fault at all. You can't blame them for that. They get the win in a game four. Game five comes out. All right. Let's see. I do want to give a shout out to Down to Flash there. Actually stepping up in that game, having a having no deaths, playing pretty well, yeah, stalling out that Baron quite well. We haven't really heard much from him uh, in these games, but definitely stepping up that game and uh, and making it work. 